Mr. Chairman, sir. Thank you for the opportunity you have given to me. Sir, I wholeheartedly support this bill. However, I would like to make some suggestions through your good self to the Honorable Minister, Anurag Thakurji. Kindly listen to me. Sir, uh, three points I would like to bring to your kind notice. Sir, as a fourth pillar of the democracy, the press was the duty to the public, to the Indian public, and adhere to the highest values in the society, and strive, to, try, strive towards bringing the truth, real truth, to the forefront. That is the objective with which the press should work. However, sir, the role of the press of late has been severely and adversely compromised for the reasons known to your good self. Sir, one important feature which I would like to bring to your notice is that the entry of corporates, corporate companies entering into the field of fourth pillar of democracy. Sir, uh, is, it, uh, is, it, uh, is it admissible as per the law, a corporate company getting into, uh, becoming a member of parliament? No, not possible. Is it possible to become a corporate company to become a lawyer? Individual can be a partner in the partnership firm of a law firm and then he can represent in, in his individual capacity. Is it, possible to, uh, is it possible for a corporate company to become a bureaucrat in the gov government? It is not possible. However, it is possible in the case of fourth pillar of the democracy. What is the result? The result is that these corporate entities which have got the uh, financial viral withal are dictating terms to entire uh, three pillars of uh, democracy. Therefore, sir, these certain organizations, I'm not naming any organization, certain caste outfits, I'm referring to caste, certain religious outfits, certain terrorist organizations, certain organizations with ulterior motives, and certain organizations with political mo objectives, motives, they, are, they have impacted the independence of, uh, independence of media. Sir, therefore, of the press. And they have fueled the drastic increase in the incidence of fake news. Again, with the ulterior motives, with the political objectives. Sir, this, this is to be taken cognizance of I request, in this regard, my suggestion to the Honorable Minister through you, sir, is that corporate companies may enter into the press, press media, media business. But however, the business should be done in the name of Section 25 company. Section 25 of the Companies Act, World Act, I am not updated. That is, company, in case if, even if there is a Excess of income over the expenditure, not that should profit. be not profit, not, not to profit making company. Session. Only those companies should be allowed to get into the media business. Then only the independence of me media can be maintained, sir. Sir, the next point which I would like to bring to your notice is the National Crime Records Bureau, a total of 1,527 fake news were recorded in 2022. There is a quantum jump of 214% increase when compared to 2019 and 2021, uh, uh, re registering 486 and 882 cases, uh, uh, fake news cases, respectively, sir. Sir, uh, sir, the Indian Penal Code, coming to the Indian Penal Code, Sir, uh, imposes the ca criminal punishment on any person who makes the statement to conduce the, pub uh, to conduce the public mischief. Section 125, sir. 105. Does not provide any regulatory framework for governing instances of fake news that, perpe that perpetuated by the press. Therefore, it is imperative on the government to ensure that the fake news will not be perpetuated uh, by the press uh, for whatever reasons I have stated, sir. 
So there is an urgent need to, uh, to bring about the specific laws and regulations to address this menace of fake news, sir. The last point which I would like to bring to your notice, sir, the safety of journalists. Sir, journalists are working there for their livelihood. Of course, there are genuine der der journalists. There may be one or two journalists who will be resorting to unfair practices. Doesn't mean that the entire journalist journalist community is bad. Sir, uh, the, the form of fourth pillar of democracy, yet their lives of, the lives of the journalists are not safe in this country because, because the government, it is the responsibility of the press and media companies to take care of the journalist, journalist lives and st living standards, sir. India is, is among the five most dangerous countries among the journalists killed in four deaths in 2021 out of 46 worldwide. Therefore, it is the responsibility of the government to ensure and to make appropriate laws to, uh, to safeguard the lives of the journalists, sir. And, sir, uh, sir, the digital India, the last, the last point, sir. Sir, Digital India has been, the, we are moving to, towards the Digital India. The digital, digital India, the digital media platform have become easily accessible to the common man. We have a cell phone, it can be accessed, and then various uh, tabs are there, and um, uh, various other electronic instruments are there, sir. The bill takes crucial step towards the ensuring the registration of digital media platforms. Digital platforms continue to remain outside the purview of Press Council Act 1978, sir. It is not. Press Council Act 1978 has no jurisdiction on digital media. And the Honorable Minister is also aware of it. Sir, I have, uh, the Press Council is a regulatory watchdog and the Press Council of India should have a monitoring uh, uh, rights over the digital media also, sir. Sir, I have, in fact, I have introduced a private, private member bill in this August House to empower the Press Council of India to regulate all forms of digital news and also impose the penalties for the fake, fake news. Sir, I strongly urge the Honorable Minister to consider bringing the reforms, including the non-profit non making companies only can in, get into the uh, press business. I, I, I am not supposed to call it as a business. Uh, business without making any profit objective. So thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I... Thank you. Ready, sir. Honorable Sir J.